Hey everybody, this is Brian from Y2KOK, -OK, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at another installment of how to make it cheaper yourself and waste a lot of time doing it. Today we're going to be making driveway arches for Christmas for about $55 per arch. It might be more, it might be less for you, but just know that's what I paid for these at the end of 2021. And in this video we're going to go over what I use to make them, where to get the items, and how much they cost. For my first trial here, we used half inch PVC. And well, as you can see, it looks like it's doing the Bernie. If you don't get that reference, then no worries. Just know that this wasn't the solution and we're gonna need something a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger to hold lights. For trial two of the solution, I used 3 4 inch PVC and it works great. It, it, it's gonna be flexible enough to actually make that arch, but yet it's not gonna be too weak to where it'll fold under its own weight and in the wind. So next up, you're gonna grab the PVC primer and cement. You truth be told, don't need the primer. I had it, so I was gonna use it. We're not doing anything to do with plumbing here, and so we don't have to worry about any leaks. All we need this cement to do is just to hold the coupling in place, and that way we can attach the PVC pipes together. At this point, I think I would like to tell you that I used three 10-foot sections of PVC for each arch. This means you're gonna need two couplings per arch, and not every section of the arch is gonna have a coupling on it. So to make it easier on yourself, what I would do is I would just select one piece to be the top and put a, a coupling on either side. So there are your two couplings. Then both the side sections that will attach into it will not have a coupling in there. And that'll just make it easier overall to keep track of everything. This next step is completely optional, but for me, it was something I wasn't gonna skip. I didn't want bright white PVC all over and above my driveway for the entire month of December, and I bought green stringers for the LED Christmas lights, and that sticks out pretty bad on white. So for $1.48 at Lowe's, I can buy the Project Source spray paint, and it was a no-brainer. One can per arch is all this took me, so for $1.48, it can help everything blend into its environment a little bit better and won't show up down the street during the daytime. So I think this was something that, unless you can find black PVC, I would buy the $1.48 can of spray paint. Now that I have all the pipes painted black, I'm gonna start attaching the pipes together. However, I don't want to have to store 30 foot sections of PVC, so I'm gonna use two inch bolts with nuts to connect them. This is done by drilling through the coupling and the pipe on the uncemented side, and then running the bolt through it. This is just gonna make it easier to tear down at the end of the season and to store. So here's the section where it could get a little bit dangerous. Just make sure you're using the proper safety equipment, glasses, earplugs, gloves, etc. Don't get yourself hurt. Here's where I took 10 foot sections of 3 8 inch rebar. The cost of that is about $5.48 per bar, and you're gonna need two of these per arch. You're gonna cut these into five foot sections using a grinder, and if you can get help, by all means, probably get help. If the ends are bent, then you're also gonna wanna take the, um, the grinder and cut the ends off and just make sure they're straight that will allow you to drive these into the ground a little bit easier and get them inside of the PVC. So here's a little bit of a pro tip for you here. Before you go and hammer these into the ground, grab a couple of zip ties, wrap it around there. It'll make it so much easier to keep them close together and that way they're not flopping around all over the place while you're trying to hammer them in. For my arches, I'm going to be spacing them out about 25 feet apart, and I've used a large measuring tape to mark each spot. I also went out and bought a 40 foot extension cord to run power from arch to arch. They're 16 gauge, which is smaller than I like, but for LEDs, it's not going to be any problem at all. Now before you go and start hammering in all the rebar, just make sure you measure what your first arch actually is width wise. For mine, I used 194 inches wide. That gave me a nice shape before the arch that I liked. Did not put too much strain on the PVC and overall turned out really nice. 
When you're ready to start hammering in the rebar, just make sure you're using a mini sledge. It's gonna make your life so much easier. I tried using a regular hammer at first, and it was pretty slow going. A mini sledge is just gonna have that extra mass to be able to drive those two pieces of rebar into the ground significantly easier. So this clip is gonna seem like it's a little bit out of time sequence, and it is. However, visually, it's still the same. The reason that I used two 3 8 inch rebar per side is because it fits extremely snug on the inside of a 3 4 inch PVC pipe. This is why you also need to make sure that those ends are straight. Also, if you can get help, it would help a ton, and even having a ladder there on site as well. So the great part about them being so snug on there is that they're not gonna flop around in the wind. There's no chance that a, a hard breeze is going to come by and then pick up the arch and blow it off of the PVC. So now we're ready to start putting the lights around all the arches. Do yourself a favor and make sure the lights work before you start to wrap them around the arch and zip tie them on there. This could save you a lot of time. Also, the zip ties are key. Make sure that you zip tie the lights around the arches every few feet so they don't start to slide around all over the place. This will just help them stay looking consistent and that way you don't have a huge blob of lights in one section and have it really thin in another. For this, I actually used warm white LED lights. I like warm white because it looks pretty similar to the way incandescents do. I don't like the super bright blue light of the warm, or excuse me, of the bright white LEDs. And this is a nice compromise. Saves on energy, uh, makes everything uh, a little bit better. Plus they don't go out as often from what I've found. These actually will run you about $5.98 per strand from Lowe's and I use two strands per arch. And on this side of it, I think I might use more next year. However, two strands per arch gives you a good amount of light for that particular arch. This was a really fun project to work on, but it took way longer than I expected. However, I think it turned out pretty great. Plus my wife and my girls really like it. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters to me. I hope you found this video useful or entertaining, and I wanna wish you a very Merry Christmas. Please consider liking and subscribing.